Welcome to South Carolina Social Studies Standard 8.5-1. We're talking about Reconstruction. This is the 8.5-1 standard and essential questions. Analyze the development of Reconstruction policy and its impact in South Carolina, including the presidential and congressional Reconstruction plans, the role of Black Codes, and the Freedmen's Bureau. Essential questions include, how did the Reconstruction policy develop? How did Reconstruction impact South Carolina? What are the differences and similarities between the Presidential and Congressional Reconstruction plans? What roles did Black Coats play in Reconstruction? And finally, how did the Freedmen's Bureau assist in Reconstruction? The Reconstruction policies of the federal government significantly impacted society and politics in South Carolina after the Civil War. Although South Carolina faced significant economic problems as a result of the Civil War, the federal government did not believe it should have the responsibility of individuals and state and local governments. Consequently, the Reconstruction policies of national government did not include the reconstruction of farms, towns, factories, and transportation systems. This is a common misunderstanding. The Bureau of Refugees, Freedmen and Abandoned Lands, known as the Freedmen's Bureau, was established by Congress prior to the end of the Civil War. The Bureau was the first line assistance to everyone affected by the war, including whites as well as destitute freedmen. This agency, under the control of the United States Army, provided food, clothing, medical care, education, and some protection from the hostile white environment. The Freedmen's Bureau helped many freedmen find jobs and establish courts to protect the illiterate workers. The Bureau was also charged with distributing to freedmen those lands that had been abandoned during the war or that had been confiscated as punishment for disloyalty to the Union. However, the Bureau was forced to take these lands back when President Johnson pardoned the white owners and returned their property to them. Congress would not pass legislation granting lands to freedmen because they respected the constitutional rights of Southern whites to their landed property. The great majority of African Americans did not receive land that would have given them economic independence. In lieu, in place, or substitute of having their own land, the Freedmen's Bureau helped African Americans establish the sharecropping relationship with workerless plantation owners. Although this system mired or stuck African Americans, as well as landless poor whites, in economic dependence and poverty for generations, it did play a role in the economic reconstruction of South Carolina. The most important contribution of Freedmen's Bureau, however, was the facilitation of the establishment of over 1,000 schools throughout the South. Reconstruction in South Carolina. General Rufus Saxon was the chief of the Freedmen's Bureau in South Carolina. Saxon set up offices to look after the freedmen, but he also fed hungry people, regardless of race. In the 11 months after the war, more than 1 million food rations were given out. Sharecropping versus tenant farming. Tenant farming. Freedmen's and poor whites rented a plot of land and a house from a white landowner. 
tenant farmers chose what crops they grew and used the income from selling crops to pay rent and other bills. Sharecropping was different. Sharecroppers lived on land and in a house owned by the white landowner. Landowners decided what to grow. At harvest time, the landowner kept most of the crop but gave a share to sharecroppers to sell on their own. This created an endless cycle of debt. Tenant farmers and sharecroppers often lived in constant debt. Crop liens were a form of credit where tenants, sharecroppers, and even landowners used crop to pay for supplies. Use the following vocabulary words, notes, the textbook, and other words to write an original paragraph, six to eight complete sentences, answering the follow question, following question. How did sharecropping and tenant farming lead to an endless cycle of debt for poor whites and African Americans? The vocabulary words are listed below.